Where's everyone going? Bingo? Since 1996, Resident Evil has been a cornerstone of survival horror. This iconic franchise has evolved, but beloved characters like Leon Kennedy and Chris Redfield remain fan favourites. Amy at Game Rant here, and we're listing most memorable male characters who've shaped the Resident Evil universe. At number 10, we have The Merchant. Despite being nameless and appearing only in Resident Evil 4 and its remake, he's become an iconic fan favourite. Known for keeping Leon stocked with weapons and upgrades, his mysterious nature and memorable quotes like Over here, stranger, have made him unforgettable. With his creepy design and catchy lines, The Merchant is a beloved meme in the Resident Evil community, even without a backstory or name. At number 9, we have Hunk, the mysterious Umbrella Security Service Operator. Appearing in multiple Resident Evil games, his backstory is minimal, but his badass reputation is undeniable. Clad in black SWAT-style armor and a gas mask, Hunk is all about getting the job done. His cool, enigmatic persona makes him one of the series' most intriguing characters. Our number 8th entry is Jake, the son of the infamous Albert Wesker. Despite his father's villainy, Jake is anything but a chip off the old block. Starting off as a bit of a self-centred jerk, he grows into a charismatic and likeable character, genuinely wanting to help people. His compelling backstory and character development make Jake a standout in the Resident Evil series. Barry Burton, Jill's guardian angel from the original Resident Evil, always there at the right time with weapons and ammo. Barry appears in Revelations 2 to protect Natalia. Known for risking his life to protect others, Barry stands out as a good guy in a world of horrors. He's also behind some of the franchise's most memorable and quotable lines, adding to his charm. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry's unwavering support and iconic moments earn him a spot on this list. At number six, we have Ramon Salazar, or as I like to call him, Salad Bar, the memorable antagonist from Resident Evil 4. With the game's shift towards action, Salazar's cheesy, cartoonish villainy added a unique flavor. Though not the toughest boss, his quirky presence made the game unforgettable. Even with attempts to make him more intimidating in the remake, his three foot six Renaissance era look, Salazar's over the top character is a refreshing break from the series' usual tone. In our fifth spot, we have Jack Baker, the terrifying father-in-law from hell in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Jack turns the opening hours into a living nightmare for Ethan Winters, stalking him through the Baker estate and creating some of the game's scariest jump scares. Despite his brutality, Jack is also one of the series' most tragic characters. Once a kind family man, he was twisted into a monster by the mold. In a poignant moment after his death, Jack expresses remorse and explains his family's fate to Ethan, adding depth to his horrifying persona. Welcome to the family, son. <clears throat> At number four, we have Ethan Winters, a character whose ranking might surprise some fans. Initially introduced as an everyman in Resident Evil 7, Ethan seemed a little bit vanilla, mostly reacting to the horrors around him. However, his character arc is one of the best in the series. He's faced and defeated countless monsters, including a mold-infected family, werewolves, and pseudo-witches. Ethan's endured unimaginable pain, losing limbs and being attacked by his possessed wife, only to stitch himself back together, quite literally. Starting as an average Joe, he ends Resident Evil 8 as a true hero willing to sacrifice himself to save the day. In third place, we have Albert Wesker, Resident Evil's most iconic villain. Introduced as the star's founder and alpha team captain in the original game, Wesker's betrayal and ties to Umbrella Corporation shocked fans. His ambition drove him to infect himself, giving him immense power while retaining his human look. From a traitor to a full-on supervillain, Wesker's cool, charming, and evil presence stole every scene he was in. Despite his demise in Resident Evil 5, Wesker's legacy as the ultimate bad guy lives on and he's sorely missed. In second place, we've got Chris Redfield. Starting as a STARS agent betrayed by Wesker, Chris moved on to help found the BSAA, leading the fight against BOWs and those who create or sell them. Despite facing countless horrors, Chris remains a good guy, sometimes skirting the line for the greater good. Chris's unwavering determination and bravery solidify his place as one of Resident Evil's best characters. 
And finally, at number one, we have Leon Scott Kennedy, Resident Evil's enduring hero. Introduced in Resident Evil 2 as a rookie cop, having the worst first day ever on the job, Leon's career took him from a survivor of Raccoon City's destruction to a special agent answering directly to the president. Leon consistently rises to the occasion. Throughout his journey, he's grown as a character but maintained the slightly awkward charm that fans adore. Known for his action hero style one-liners in Resident Evil 4 and 6, Leon embodies the resilience and spirit of Resident Evil's iconic protagonist. In this countdown, we've explored the top 10 most memorable characters in Resident Evil history. From iconic villains to resilient heroes, each character has left an indelible mark on the franchise, showcasing bravery, villainy, and everything in between. I've been Amy from Game Rant. <laughs> Come back anytime. <laughs>